Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have successfully implemented the counter example, counter application using NGRX we have implemented. If you see the output, we are able to see the same output, but this output is coming from the, the data is coming from the store. So for example, if you try to see, if you try to change the initial data to 4, let us try to see here, if I refresh this page, okay, so the initial value is 4 automatically. So, that means successfully we are able to tell that the data is coming from the store. Now, here the incrementation is also happening from the actions. Now, let us try to see again the output. So, what are the steps we have did here? If you observe the steps, first we have installed the store, ngrx slash store and next we have implemented the state. So, how we have implemented the state here? We have went into the counter.state.ts, we have created a new file and in this one we have created an initial state. And, and another one next step is the actions, we have created the actions. We have seen what are the actions that are necessary for the project, for the application. The three actions are there, that is nothing but the increment, decrement and reset. These are the three actions which should be performed. So, we have created the actions for this one. So, the creation action name how it will be is export constant increment the name of the action name. So, the name whatever you want you can keep it and create action. So, we are creating an action. This method should be imported from the ngrx store and here we need to give the identifier. This name should be unique. So, any two actions should not have the same name. So, these all action names should be the different. Now, here the name, so the decrement, increment, decrement and reset we have seen, we have created and another one is the reducer. This is the main heart. The reducer is nothing but we have already discussed, it is a pure function. So reducer, what, reducer is the main thing who is responsible for changing the state. So, by depending on the actions, what are the actions we are sending, dispatching. So, uh, according to that action, it will perform the state changes. So, here we have created a reducer. And it takes the initial state which comes from the counter.state.ts. And here we have, we have also implemented that imported that counter.state. And here on increment state, so it will return and it will update the count state that counter dot plus one. Okay. So in this way, you will be having. So if you are having more actions means, so you will implement the action implementation using another on like that. Okay. Increment, decrement, reset. We have implemented the three action functionalities. Now, we need after, after implementing the actions, reducers and state, so we need to initialize the store. So, we went to the app.module, this is the main entry file and here we have implemented store module for root and here we need to, we have implemented the reducer, right. So, tomorrow you will be having another reducer. So, another set of, another set of uh, module if you are having means you will be having another store. So, this is all the store state data should come into a single place. If you see in our previous examples, if I open this one, so in our previous uh, uh, presentation, you have seen the store representation, the, the state representation, how will be the state representation is seen. So here you are having the state, you are having the post. So in the same scenario, now we are having one extra one that is nothing but the counter. So counter, so that is one of the set. And at the end, the state is nothing but this initialization should be happened in the app module. So these all combinedly, here we need to give the combined here. So, there is the reason counter we have created a name for this one. Whatever the name you want, you can give. So, the name here you are changing means automatically you need to change everywhere in the implementation of the components. So, here the counter and the reducer. So, we need to give the path of the reducer. So, which reducer I need to map it. So, here we have finished the, we have added the initializer the state. And now let us go to the component. So, where we have added, where we want to use this counter, where we want to use this store state, we can directly use the store state directly. So, here implement the store. So, whatever the representation you are having in the app module, so the same representation we need to give here. The counter and in this counter is nothing but coming from the counter reducer. So, counter reducer is representing this state. So, whatever the structure you are having counter for here, you need to give it automatically here counter of type number. So, this is the store representation and whenever you want to dispatch call an action, you can call the action using this dot store dot dispatch and the action name. Action name is nothing but the, here you will be having the counter dot action dot j, this is the name you will be having and you need to 
open and close para, uh, brackets you need to give so in order to call the method and another one so this is the dispatching in action now if you want to get the data from the state selecting the data from the state means so how you can get is so let's see in the counter output and in this counter output if you see counter number and this is the counter number and this counter this dot store dot select of counter this counter is nothing but this variable so this is this is uh, ultimately returns an observable so because of the reason dot subscribe and we are getting the data okay so this is the representation of the store now what we will try to do is we will try to do some refactoring how we can do the refactoring here now first step is all the time we are writing counter number and here also we are writing the counter number like this we are writing right now what can we do is here we can directly define the structure of this one so how we can define the structure let's go to the counter dot state dot ts here you are having the structure uh, here you are having the data right so let's try to implement a interface here interface counter state i can write like this counter state and this is the implementation and in this one you are having counter of type number okay so directly you can write here this should implement the type of the counter state okay so first step we have implemented and directly what i can do i can go here and i can write directly the counter state here okay and here also i can write the counter state so this is the way how we can implement so let's import the counter state here so let's import the counter state here and in this buttons also so first re refactoring we have did the refactoring now next refactoring what we need to do is so here if you try to see we are subscribing to the counter okay so that means we need to unsubscribe it so let's take the subscription of type what i can say sorry now uh, what i what i can say counter subscription or something like this okay of type subscription subscription okay subscription this should be imported from the rxjs and now what i can do is this one take like this and here this dot counter subscription it should be and here we need to implement on destroy okay on destroy and also here what i can do is ng on destroy let's implement ng on destroy and in this one what we need to do if this dot counter counter subscription is there it, it will be existing so this dot counter subscription dot unsubscribe okay we need to subscribe and unsubscribe so this is how we'll be making some some people how they will be doing is so instead of doing this subscription and all those things what they will be doing is so here let's try to uh, what i will try to do is um, counter dollar i will take so dollar means is nothing but an observable let's see let's assume okay so dollar means whichever the variable you are having dollar at the end means let's assume that from now onwards in our project it is an observable okay here i can write observable of it will take something like counter of number okay so this is the observable so this is an observable okay counter dollar now what i can do here i can do this dot counter dollar is equal to this dot store sorry this dot store dot select so we know that this one will release a observable right so same the observable we are storing it in the counter dollar this counter is taking the number but this counter dollar is taking the observable if you observe it uh, carefully the counter number is observable because of the reason we have went into the subscript subscribe okay we have went into the subscribe and in that subscribe we are taking the data but here instead of subscribing and all those things directly i am taking the observable and i am taking it in the variable now if you want to use this variable directly in the template how we can use is here i can go to the html counter output instead of using this counter i can use this counter dollar but as this one is an observable let's try to see the output here 
if I try to see the output, okay, if, I, if it refreshes, we are getting the object. Why? Because it is an object. Now, if I want to get that one, so now what I can do, dot counter dot counter I can use. Why? Because it is an is an object. So we know that data dot counter, right? So it is an observable. You will be know that inside that one you are having an object counter. Now it will not execute. Why? Because this one is an observable and it, this one is an observable. So some some other time you will be getting a data. So what we can do is we can wrap it here automatically. And what I can do is I can use the async pipe here. Okay. So I can use the async pipe dot counter. Now let's try to see the output. If I try to see the output, now see you are able to get the counter again. So I am using the now the observable counter dollar. So now what I can do here, I can remove this all the unnecessary code, these all subscriptions and all those things, and I can remove this counter also, and I can remove this code and I can remove this ng destroy everything I can remove. So with the simple what I what I did with a simple thing, so I got I I took the counter dollar as observable, and in this observable, what I did, so using the async pipe, I displayed the data. Now if I try to see the output here, so increment and decrement, everything will be working fine. So this is the thing how we have implement how we can implement the how we can do some refactoring. Okay, so here what we have did. So first one what we had it is in the counter buttons uh, we have we have implemented the state here in the counter state so we have in, we have implemented the structural interface for that counter state and we have used this counter state and wherever we are using this counter store so we have implemented like this counter store counter state and also we have implemented the counter counter state here also and here for selecting the data we have used the observables okay we have took the observables or otherwise you can use the dot subscribe and you can use the unsubscribe thing or otherwise you can directly take the observable or what is the type of data the observable returns and you can use that data okay so this is how we can do some refactoring and still we can do the refactoring going on going on in the deep i will show you how we can write the store in a in a in a separate manner as you will do we will do for the lacing loading and all those things you will see feature feature state and all those things we'll see Okay, so this is the basic introduction, basic structure how we can implement the store state data, state management in the application, in a common application. So this is the total logic. Of what is the basic fundamentals? Is the basic funda is the this one only? And we'll start with uh, I will I will tell you some feature modules, lazy load, and all those things in this in this in the same example. And then afterwards we'll start with the main main application, main project. We'll start. Okay. If you have any doubts or any suggestions, please post the comments below to this video. And if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.